Hello everybody, thanks for tuning into my video today. Uh, my name is Mike Kraczkowski from John Carroll University and as a supplement to the article that I did uh, in EDUCAUSE Quarterly, I wanted to kind of walk you through how easy and fast you can set up a cloud server. So uh, let's do it because I want to, we only got 10 minutes here on YouTube so we've got to do it fast and I think we can. Uh, right now we're logged into the Amazon Web Services dashboard, uh, in particular the EC2 dashboard. Now EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud. Uh, just a fancy way of saying servers in the cloud. So uh, <clears throat> let's just jump right into it. We're logged in. Uh, uh, we've already set up our account. Uh, so let's go. Let's launch an instance. Uh, the first thing that I have to do here is I can pick what kind of server I want to start. Uh, so I've got some pre-made uh, ones from Amazon, kind of the quick start ones, a couple Fedora, a couple Windows servers. Uh, if I have already created a machine image, a kind of a server snapshot, let's say you logged in and you made your own, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you can store it here and then fire up one or a thousand of your servers that you made. Uh, or there are community APIs, and what that means is people went out and made their own server images and have shared them with the world through Amazon's web services. So if I was looking for a WordPress server, for example, I could see all of the various machines in here uh, that people have created uh, for WordPress. You can see there's just there's dozens of them, uh, different versions of WordPress, different setups, all that stuff. But uh, for today's demo, we're going to pick a LAMP Web Starter 1 uh, with PHP, Apache, MySQL, Fedora, Linux. Let's do it. Uh, select that. We're going to say, I only want one server to run today. I really don't have a preference in what data center the server is started. If you're running multiple servers, you may uh, want to have them in different areas just for redundancy sake. Uh, for this particular server, I'm going to use the small instance. Now, all these have different costs, but they all have different processor levels and amounts of memory that you get access to. Uh, for most of the projects that I've worked on, the small instance is fine. Uh, two gigs of memory, one core processor, I think that's pretty good uh, for this. And we're going to launch our instance. Uh, I'm not going to have a preference on, on the particular kernel or RAM disk that this uses. We're not going to uh, add CloudWatch monitoring because we have to pay for that and we don't have use any user data to send in the machine. So, boom. Let's go. Uh, Amazon controls access to their servers through sets of key pairs, so you won't get a root uh, password uh, to SSH into the box, uh, in this case because we're using Linux. Uh, you can create a key pair, uh, so you have half a key pair, the other half goes to the server, and that's how you'll log in. I'll show you that in a little bit. <clears throat> uh, these ports are opened up uh, for this particular box, 22 because we're going to SSH in, 80 on the web server, 3306 for MySQL. These all look great. Let's call this EQ group. And uh, this is for EQ. So let's start it up. If I need to, I can start up things like uh, HTTPS, uh, POP3, FTP, but we're going to leave this. Uh, this is good enough for now. I'm going to review all this. And uh, yep, all that looks good. So I'm going to say, let's go, Amazon. And they are now launching our instances. So if we jump over to the instance page, you'll see that our server is running and you'll see how quickly it takes to uh, to get up and running. So somewhere in a data center, uh, somewhere in Amazon on the East Coast, my server is starting up. So you can see some additional data about our server down here. It's starting up, starting up. Just waiting for it. This is the exciting part of the video uh, while it starts up. <laughs> it really just takes, you know, 30, 40 seconds sometimes a couple of minutes depending on the type of machine that you're starting up. I found that the Linux machines start up faster than the Windows machines uh, and they are easier to uh, connect to. Uh, not that the Windows ones aren't, uh, just the Linux ones are a little bit faster uh, to go to. What's nice about this dashboard is that you can control all of your instances here. Um, uh, so if you're running many, you can kind of sort them and get what you need uh, from them quickly. Now, of course, when I need to have the under 10 minute video, Amazon decides to be pokey with my server. Come on, dudes. All right, tell you what, I will pause it here and we'll jump back in. So uh, I shouldn't even pause because five seconds after I said uh, I'm going to pause the video, it, it's, it's up and running. So go figure. Uh, our machine is now running in Amazon. Uh, you'll see here that we have a public and a private DNS. The private DNS you use for when you are kind of internal of, of uh, EC2 and you have a bunch of different machines uh, running, you can use that IP address. But from the public facing world, we're going to use this address. Let's open up a tab. Let's paste that in there. And look, there's our PHP info page. Uh, it's got the correct date and time. 
uh, all the PHP information, variables, Apache variables. Uh, pretty sweet. So let's let's connect to it. Uh, let's say uh, connect here in the instance actions menu, and uh, they give me some directions. Uh, because I'm on a Mac, I'm going to be using the command line, but if you have a, a PuTTY or whatever terminal you like, uh, you can use whatever like. I'm just going to paste what, uh, whatever Amazon gave me. Yes, I want to connect to that. And then uh, there we go. We're in the machine. So we have actually SSH'd in. Uh, no password necessary because we have the key. Uh, and we're in there uh, over at Amazon. So let's uh, actually let's make a quick change. Uh, let's grab our server root and let's go there and we'll go to the HD docs Oops. Oh man, I can't type today uh, let's edit this index file just really quickly we'll, we'll blow everything out of there and it won't be you know good code but that's okay yep okay so now we've we've changed our index file so when we reload this page it should say, hello world. So uh, that's to show you how easy it is to log in, to make your changes. Uh, I mean, we did that in like five minutes, and we're already working uh, in the environment. So the last thing we have to do, once we're done, because we've been paying this whole time, we've kind of bought the whole hour. That's how Amazon works, but that's okay. It's eight and a half cents well spent. Uh, we're going to terminate this in instance. Yes, we're going to terminate it and Amazon's going to start shutting it down. Uh, and then once it's off, we're done paying. Uh, if you'd like to learn more, and, and I would hope you dig in there and check it out because it's pretty cool. Uh, all of their web services are pretty cool. Uh, you can go to aws.amazon.com. And, uh, of course, if you have questions or you want to learn more about this kind of stuff, I talk about it on my blog, which is highedwebtech.com. And uh, soon here, Amazon will have our instance shut down, and, uh, and then we're done. So thanks again for watching. Uh, See you later, I guess.